come off trailing 2 nothing, but I, I would imagine it was still a pretty good feeling that the game was still manageable for you guys at that point. Yeah, uh, yeah, Torch came in and just said, listen, like, look at the shots, look at, look at how we're playing. Um, you know, we deserve better in the game. We should, we should be in it. And, uh, you know, that, I mean, when you hear that, you just go out and keep doing the same things. Uh, I know I keep saying it, but we just put our heads down and just keep working. You're going to wear a team down and, and get your chances. How important is it for you guys to keep that mentality? Obviously, a lot of times last season, you guys go down, you guys kind of deflate. How important was it to stick in there and know you guys were going to wear them down eventually? Well, that's the thing. It's just that's that's what they've been preaching on campus. It's hard, like, to keep that tempo and play that way. Is is you got everyone's got to buy in to do it, and it's a hard way to play. But you know, it's it's playing the right way, and, and you're going to get rewarded whether it's every game. You're not going to win every single game, but it's going to keep you in games, and that's that's what you need. I know we talked about a little bit Thursday, but do you feel more energized under, however, new style, new system you guys want to play? Because it seems like you're more active, your feet are moving a lot more than maybe the last season or two. I, I don't know. I think everyone's. I mean, I think it's just everyone's buying in. Everyone's just playing hard. Everyone's moving their feet, and um, you know, it's just, it's really, uh, you know. It's it's really like attractive, and you, you kind of like latch on to guys when they're playing that way, and you just kind of jump over the boards. You do what the last guy did, and you just build off each other. Travis, can you uh, walk through your decision on that pass to, to Scott for the, the short headed goal? It looked like for a second you thought about going in the middle, and then you decided to do the back pass instead. Yeah, I knew Lottie had a jump on on the guys, and um, honestly, I, I was going there, and it was just last second where I kind of just made the read and. Um, you know, if I made it a little too close for comfort on the outside, but uh, Lottie made a good play to kind of circle in there and, and get how, it done. Sorry. How comfortable have you felt so far on the penalty kill and, and being a fixture on that unit now? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how well I'm doing. I, I, I'm trying uh, to learn as I'm going here. I haven't done a lot of it, but, um, you know, it, I definitely feel good. I feel like I'm in the game a lot and, and uh, you know, it keeps my legs going and, and um, you know, however I can help, uh, you know, I just want to keep building and, and if I can help on the kill, I'll help on the kill. You're, you're not the only one, you know, you're obviously on the penalty kill, but you know, Tony D'Angelo is on the penalty kill. Is that, you know, having guys that are known for more offense being on the penalty kill, do you think that it gives the whole group this mentality of, you know, we're gonna actually going to try to create offense on the penalty kill too? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think the, the two best killers are like, I mean, I think uh, Coots and, and Axe, they've proven like they're offensive guys. And when you see those guys buying in, blocking shots and, and then creating offense off of it, like it, it makes everyone buy in because you realize, you know, these guys are doing their top players are blocking shots and doing the right things and they're getting rewarded. So it, it's just, you just follow in, you know, Tony's doing that. He's playing, he's playing hard back there and, you know, guys jump on board with that. How much of a confidence boost is that for you personally to be used on the penalty kill, to be trusted in those situations where maybe past coaches here haven't had that trust in you? Yeah, I mean, there's also I've, there been, there's been a lot of good killers um, here when I've been here. So, um, I mean, I'm just thankful I've I've gotten an opportunity here. Who knows um, going forward? Uh, I'm just you know I'll do what I have to do right now when when uh, guys are in the lineup and um, you know however I can help out.